Welcome back to Yours and My Truth. Once again, I'm Damien. And Raymond, uh, once again, is not here. He was actually supposed to film, <coughs> but the day we were actually supposed to film, like his, the airlines called him and was like, we need you right now. So he had to, you know, leave again. So I talked to him but he, and today. He says, hey, everyone. So once again, I have my lovely co-host. Hey. She back for round two. Back for round two. Everybody be nice. Turn up. So, as always, we're going to start off with our Woman Crush Wednesday. My Woman Crush Wednesday is Winnie Harlow. She, I don't know if y'all know her, but she's the model that has Bill Lago. You know, she's all like white and like black at spots. She's really pretty and I think she's gorgeous. So, Winnie, there you go, girl. First, let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche. I don't want her if that ass don't sit like a horse. I be ballin' on these niggas, got me feelin' like sports. Dash got so much wood, I could build me a fort. Ain't too many things I ain't done yet. I'm the king of this shit, crowned by the toilet. Hey, Winnie. She turned up, huh? Okay, so, um... Hi everyone. I know you guys are so happy to see me. But today my woman crush Wednesday is me. <laughs> Cause y'all loved me so much last time. <laughs> Let me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all, so our first topic, and we have two today. Um, the first one comes from Jacqueline Austin. Hey, Jacqueline girl. Hi. Jacqueline wrote and she says, hey, I'm Jacqueline, um, who liked your post on Instagram. Thanks, Jack. Um, you guys are awesome. I have a topic um, that she wants us to uh, do. She said, do you believe Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby is guilty? If he did anything, I feel those women knew what they were getting into and they wanted money and they wanted money. Love you guys. Looking to looking forward to see the show. Now, Jacqueline, what I have to say is I agree with you. No shade to, to, to everybody else. You know, the girls who was, you know, touched and things or said that they were touched. Um, I just feel like that, you know, all those people was like at like the bottom of their career. And at that time, Bill Cosby was, you know, excuse my language, that nigga. At the time. At the time. <laughs> of his career. Yeah. Not saying that he was fine in anything, but, you know, when it came to the fun, he was that nigga. And I feel like that they all, you know... Participated, but you know, this is just like the people from the outside looking in, so I really don't know. But I personally think that you know, they were selling it, and you know, yeah, he was getting it for free, okay. <laughs> he was... Maybe some of them thought they was, you know, gonna be wiped up or gonna be more than what they was, and then when they started struggling in their career, once he got them on, they tried to, you know, take him down, yes. <laughs> uh, all of them I, I mean I'm not saying that he didn't do it because I don't know but just as though you said I feel that they knew all of those women you know the, the ones that were famous they done done so many drugs how can they even remember that's what I think 
I mean, that was so long ago. And if it was happening to you, why didn't you say anything then? Because that's what I was like. You know, why then you could have said the same thing. Yeah. I think. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they felt they wasn't they wasn't gonna believe them. And then it's like 19, 19 women. Or something, it's like a lot. It is, a lot of them. So all 19 of y'all were just quiet. This whole time until he, okay, what y'all what y'all just want to break him? He about to die? He, yeah, Bill Cosby Y'all breaking his kids and his wives. Bill Cosby one wife. is he 100. He got one wife, right? Yeah, oh. he got a little light skin, like, like you know, a little cute little white. Yeah, and she's standing by him, too. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. My thing, if he did, if, if he did this to y'all. Recently. And he's like 100, like I said. He came to my college that I attended. Well, not my college, but the yeah. college. Yes, and spoke. The University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Hey! Shout out to them. Turn up. Sorry. But I think that all of those women that are trying to take him down is just trying to get some money. Because they ain't washed up now, for sure. They probably wasn't nothing for real anyway. And the only ones that I know, like I know Beverly Johnson. She, she gotta wag her line. <laughs> Strive. Cause I don't know how that's keeping her float. That's why she trying to get a check. Ooh, cause niggas is at bundles. <laughs> and she ain't got this. No shade to you, lady. But just leave him alone. Thank you. He too old for this. I just feel like if somebody do something to y'all. If y'all don't say nothing right then, and y'all wait years and years and years and years, just be quiet. No, don't say that because why? Because if they could really be traumatized. I'm not. I don't really know. I mean, I, I guess I'm caught in the middle it. of this, but I feel low, feel like back then they was trying to get on. Thank you. And then Thank now you. they are like 40s and 50s. This was like 30 years ago. So you mean you've been traumatized and so scared for 30 years that you can say nothing? No, your funds. Or your careers have, you know, ran out, ran its course. Ran. Bill Cosby still that nigga. And y'all, Talking know. crazy and all. Still out here. Oh. But I just think that's just... I mean, if it is true, he will pay. You know what I'm saying? But now, he... Okay. Is 100. What are they... They're not going to put him in jail. I'm sure the statute of limitations is over for those things. And if y'all do take him to court, he probably going to hire Olivia Pope. She don't get him out. She, they don't have a real one of those. They do. She is a, her name is not Olivia Pope for real, but that's based off of a real person. I don't watch that show, so. I'm my scandal fans. You know, y'all understand. I'm a gladiators. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> laughing? Gladiators. I'm definitely a gladiator. But yeah, Miss Miss Austin, we agree with you, hon. We think he did it. Um, and I spoke to Raymond on the phone once I told him our topics. Raymond said he thinks that they, uh, I mean, no, we don't think that uh, he did it. I'm sorry. I mean, if um, he did, it was consensual. Right. I think. Raymond said that he feels like these women, you know, gave up the cooch for the coin. The uh, coin, coin is gone, and they snitching. Because, they, you know, that case that they pulled from, you know, that was supposed to be closed with him. Right. supposedly paid th that person off in the court. So she's still on hush with her hush money. <laughs> Big lip. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, you know. So, yeah. I don't think he guilty. And if he is, they should have said something a long time ago. I agree. Oh. Okay, guys. So, on to the second topic. The second topic comes from... Hold on, because I think she wanted to... Oh, okay. She wanted to be anonymous. So we're going to, um, we just going to call her Miss Long. Uh, Miss Long says, hey guys, I'm going to make this short as possible. I know you guys don't like long emails, LOL. If you decide to pick my email, uh, please leave it anonymous. Pick a name for me, LOL. Miss Long, here you go. Um, so Miss Long says, I've been with my girlfriend for a little over two years. We met on social media, and of course, I saw her pictures before we met. I noticed in the pictures that she was a big girl, and I have nothing against plus-size people. I'm not a small girl myself. However, when we first when we met for the first time, I realized that she was a good 400-plus pounds, and I was immediately turned off. But because she traveled so far to see me, I felt bad and didn't say anything. Uh, we continued to talk. Uh -huh. 
we continue to talk uh, that Wait, we continue to talk after that. Honestly, uh, we got a lot closer. Uh, she really is a, a good, a great human being in all senses, and I do love her, but I just can't get past the weight thing. The last time she visited, she visited me, she broke my bed, and I almost swallowed my tongue trying not to go off because I know that she's self-conscious about her weight. The problem is I really do care about her. She touches my heart like no one else has but I can't get with her sexually um I am uh, I like very oh I like very active aggressive sex and I know that she isn't capable of that um and I feel shallow and selfish I brought it up to her a long time ago when I mentioned her weight and she said that she would have surgery but she never mentioned it again Oh, and on the side note, she's a truck driver, so I barely see her. In the past two years, I've only seen her about five times for about two weeks at a time. Um, we've only been intimate once, and that's when she got a room all set up with roses and chocolates and candles and everything. Um, but I laid there, fake moaned, and prayed for it to be over. She's on her way. She's on her way here again. And should be arriving tomorrow. And I have a pit in my stomach. Sorry for rambling, but I'm so confused. Um, I don't know what to do. Am I really shallow? I know I sound like such an asshole, but I'm really not. But one thing is I'm sexually frustrated. Miss Long, Miss Long. Oh, Ooh, that's what you do. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Nasty. girl. Okay. Um, That's like catfish, the shop. Yeah, it's like you like a real live catfish, but you know. <laughs> Not laughing. But you said you knew that she was plus size, so you know. Okay, and you said you're not a small girl yourself. But plus size plus four hundred pounds. <laughs> like, plus size, and you're. I mean, I'm saying you said you you like plus size. But I mean that that is a lot that's a major difference from seeing someone this Maybe. amount plus <laughs> that's like a big thing. So you got catfish. But you know, girl, what I would do, I would honestly, and this is just me, I don't know how long you watch been watching the show, but I've stated I know in at least two shows that I'm not really a fan of the facts. No shade towards the, you know, the fats, the plus size, you know, the big bones. I'm, yeah, it's just my preference. I don't like heavy set guys. You know, I have heavy set friends. So, you know, we cool. But, you know, for me to lay down with and things, no. And 400 plus pounds is a definitely no go with me. And, yeah, if I was you, I would just be like, this ain't working. I mean, she has to know something because you guys have been dating for two years. And y'all already other. have a long relationship and y'all only got it on once. And y'all only seen each other five times. Well, I guess when she arrived tomorrow or six times. But yeah, that's just like... Well, I'm not, I think that... You need to leave. You, you said y'all talked about it at one point and she said that she could get the surgery. Why don't you bring that back up? I mean, I feel like if it's an issue for you, but you feel like... You and her are close, and you, you know, you have feelings, some type of feelings for her. You're just not sexually attracted. Um, then, I mean, maybe y'all can work something out, get on a diet or something. That's a long, long, that's a whole <laughs> lot of weight to lose. I'm just saying, she says that she's emotionally invested in this girl. So, just because she's big, that shouldn't be your ending decision like i mean if it was going to be the ending decision when you first seen her it should have been the decision at that point you shouldn't have been going along with it this far but if you say that you are invested in her emotionally then you should bring the surgery stuff back up or whatever if it's something that's bothering you let her know ask yourself this because you say y'all been together two years, and I'm sure you didn't wait two years to ask her about her weight. So, within the last two years that y'all been together, has she tried to lose weight? Anything. Probably not. Right. So, <laughs> I 
I mean, what does that mean? Right, because first of all, for me to say something about your wedding, you say, oh, well, I can get the surgery. That means you know that, you know, I would prefer you to lose a little bit. Just I saying. mean, that's true, but it's not like you told her that. Well, true, but you know, she also so, said that she was self-conscious. So maybe she was trying to, you know, ease her words without hurting her feelings. I understand. But my thing is, if you ain't trying you to lose... You understand not hurting the feelings, what you said, no. I, <laughs> I mean, I, no, I'm not no. saying that, you know, just be blunt and hurt. I understand you trying not to hurt her feelings, but like a situation this sensitive, like people's weight, you know, is, you know, a feelings hurt her. It is, I mean, but, so, okay, I'm not saying the weight thing. If it was something else that you were willing to work with, would you just be like, I mean, because obviously the weight thing is it like the number one thing on the top. Of it just, it, it like honestly her, just depends, priority. you know, everybody, yeah, everybody, you know, prioritizes different. You know, me, it would be a no-go for me. Well, first of all, I wouldn't have been. Going on this far because right. from the jump you would have known exactly. That's what I'm saying. When she got out the truck, <laughs> the first day, <laughs> Friday. <laughs> you know, Friday when, <laughs> when she, she got out the truck, she thought that was Jenny Jackson. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> when she was like, "Girl, she didn't like Jenny." More like Freddie hey. Jackson. Uh, <laughs> when she got out the diesel. The mm. very first day, I would have been like, oh, how you cool? We can go to lunch. Because, you know. <laughs> you had a lot. No, because I'm sure she was hungry. So no. She probably ate 2,000 before she got <laughs> Don't. I am not laughing because I know this is probably very. You know. I'm good. not. You I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing. <laughs> I think that you should. <clears throat> Talk, try to talk to her about it if you're emotionally invested. But if you're not, and it's a deal breaker for you, then you definitely need to find the easiest way to break it off. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. She's so, a truck driver. Change your number. So you mean to tell me within the last two years, you only had sex one time. And if you were, like, faithful to her and things, you know, kudos, hey. And, but, you know. Are you faithful, though? Miss Long, you can't. And that if you is, are, I'm not I mean, saying. she probably is because she said she's sexually frustrated. So that means. All I'm saying is I couldn't, I wouldn't have done it. And if I was, you know, I'm just, I'm just being 100. And if I was, you know, say, well, okay, well, I've been your girlfriend. I wasn't going to be faithful. Me either. <laughs> and you said like when you laid, like when, when the first, the only one time you fake moaned and. You pray for it to be over. That should, that's a sign right there that you don't it's know. Yeah, like, I mean, I really feel like, you know, you are emotionally invested. So you should really try to, you know, ask her, you know, like, what's up with the weight thing? Let her know it's bothering <laughs> I mean, I would if I was emotionally invested. I'm just saying. But if you're done, she's a truck driver, so it ain't that hard to... And, and no shade, but you know, just to, when you do it, I wouldn't do it over the phone or anything. Well, I mean, like if you, I well, would, well, she's, I would, she well, yeah, I, 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 pro I probably would too. I'm not going to say that. I probably would too, but since she's already in your presence, <laughs> you know, well, how I honestly would do it, and it's no shade, you know, because if she 400 plus pounds, I would just let her down easy over dinner. And she always trying to imply food. Well, because I know they like to eat. <laughs> she may be working on her way. Well, if you she's never working on know. her way now, then she would. The email just came in like two days ago. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing you, but you haven't seen her in how long? Maybe I'm she, sure they FaceTime. What if she came in like, whoa, shit, and all those films? I'm sure, Miss Long, you would have emailed us back and been like, disregard the first email. My baby looking I don't like know. I just don't want, you know. You to end the relationship if you are emotionally invested just because of the weight thing. But if emotions is all you have, yeah, no, it's more than, I need more than just my, you, you. I mean, yeah, but two years, that's emotions, that's time, that's a lot of things. Girl, the time is, uh, can't gone, get it back. But your emotions can be, tra you know, transferred to someone else. That's true, but I don't know. You know, that's a tough one. Cook my favorite meal and just talk. And be like, look, babe, your weight is an issue. Issue. Like, not, not don't be mean, but stress 
that it's an issue without being, you know, me and be like, you know, I really, you know, am thinking about, you know. But are you sure that the way is a deal breaker? Hell yeah. Okay. Let her down easy over dinner and move on. No shade, but you know, that's what I would do because I just can't get with the beads. You can't. Sit around and continue just to make her happy. I love that song. He's so much older than me. He trying to think I know all his girl. But no. But you know, dream girl, whatever. Oh, she happy wild. Heavy, heavy. Oh no, but no, no shade towards her. You know, no, because I love plus size women. I mean. As far as I got plus size women in my family, plus size friends, I'm not skinny myself. She's a little plus. So, no shade to the big girls, but if you that's something that's a deal breaker for you, Miss Long, you need to break the deal. Yeah, so that's what we have for you. Um, how it works out? Um, I write back and let us know how it go. Yeah. Um. Sorry that this video is going to be just a little bit shorter than the rest, but we're actually on a really, really tight, tight time schedule. And if we didn't stop to do this video now, we probably wouldn't have one to upload. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. Um, I was so happy to see you all again. <laughs> Say something nice about me in the comments. You mad or not? <laughs> no, definitely not mad. Um, there's the email address, yours and my truth at gmail.com. Um, again, it's Adrian. So, if you guys want to, you know, check us out during the week before Wednesdays or after Wednesdays, I'll have our Snapchat names, Facebook names, Instagram, all of that at the end of the video. Well, here's our Snapchat names. So you can snap us and we'll snap back. Hey. And um, yes, we're almost to the end of this, I guess, season. Because next Wednesday is our last, well, I guess next Wednesday is our last episode. We will not be filming again for the whole month of August. We won't be returning until the first Wednesday of September. And September is my birthday month. I'll be 28, so you know you guys can like send me things. Not you know me email though. email gifts and things. I like that. <laughs> I'm not ashamed, so I'm turning up. I am too. But um yeah, that's all we have for you guys. And see you guys later. Thanks for having me. Raymond will be back next week for the finale. <laughs> I may call. I may stop by too. Y'all like my rock alert? Shout out to Ruth for shout out to Oh yeah, cause y'all see cause y'all know I do her and things. Hey. Can I can I can I be from Jamaica? You from Jamaica? Do I wanna be from there or the Bahamas? You get us, I'll be from the Jamaica. Uh. Jamaica's one of the dreams. They do that in Bahamas too. Oh. Yours in my truth, yours in my truth, yours in my truth, what it do, what it do, yours in my truth, yours in my truth, yours in my truth, what it do, what it do, what it do? Hey. 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 Hey.